Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 17, and this is war number 6, and we're going up against an alliance called Agent Obsidian. Now, we have been on a winning streak. We have won the first five wars of the season, and we're looking to make it number 6. So, I've already scouted out my path, and the first node as you see here on path one is empty that is common now by this time you guys have seen that i actually uh ranked up my gladiator hulk but it was during this war so you'll notice his pi right now is still at around ten thousand. he's not ranked up at this point in time and i was worried about that Luke Cage, I was thinking, uh, would he time out in this fight? Because Luke Cage can be a little beefy. But as you'll see, we don't have to worry about that. Face Me gives Gladiator Hulk a lot more power. So he's not about to time out, even at rank four. But I do take him up during this war to rank five, and you'll get to see a fight uh, towards the end with him at rank five. So keep that uh, in mind. All right, so we're taking on this uh, Luke Cage. He's not difficult to fight. Uh, you see the lag, the game actually did lag that way. Um, that's not the video um, lagging or anything like that. That's the game, that's what it does to me. Uh, I was actually considering um, upgrading my iPad when I got the stimulus check but I think I'm going to um, first get an Elgato capture card. That should avoid uh, any lag that is there with uh, using Wi-Fi to mirror my iPad to the uh, uh, computer. And it'll also allow me to stream other games like on uh, the PlayStation 4 that my sister has. Uh, but I do want to possibly upgrade my iPad. Uh, I don't know if that's the problem, but I am getting lag like this. So we'll see. And like I said, that was the game. So this first node here, I would have taken it, but it's Sentinel. And I would have taken it with Omega Red, but Sentinel being a robot, that's a bad matchup for Omega Red. So I just backed off and let one of my Alliance mates go ahead and take that fight as he normally does otherwise I would have been more than happy to take that fight so we discuss things and uh, I'm gonna take this mini up here instead all right so first fight Morningstar and we're on this empowered immunity Morningstar when she's awakened has a chance when she's struck to inflict a bleed so Ideally, you want to bring in a Bleed Immune Champion. However, Omega Red is even better than Bleed Immune. He does not take damage from Bleed, but the Bleed activates his death field. So, uh, because he's not awakened and I am running suicides, I start out with a death field as long as I'm bleeding there uh, from the double edge uh, mastery. But fighting with... Uh, uh, against Morningstar, uh, an awakened Morningstar, he's going to have his death field active for pretty much the fight. You know, even if it goes down, I hit her a few times, I'm going to get that bleed on me. It's going to be great. Uh, ignore that, just made a mistake. Um, uh, just as a transparency, what happened there, and uh, I'll talk about it a little bit later, but there's a uh, some distractions you know because I'm recording it and you know I'll record it and then I'll look at something I'll go oh I forgot to do this and I get distracted and then get hit uh, that happened right there I was trying to fight and then I looked over uh, at my recording and I was like oh wait I need to do this and just messed up okay uh, but we still got Morningstar down without too much difficulty. Next up is Red Hulk. So I bring in my boy, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. 
Now, on my stream, we were talking about Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. And as you can see, I still use him. But he does take some care in, use, um, in using him. Uh, he's a glass cannon. He hits like a truck. But you want to avoid getting hit at all costs. Because he takes a lot of damage when he gets hit. So you saw there, I was building up my poise charges by dexing uh, attacks and... Uh, if there's any specials, dex that as well. And you can just see how much damage he does. So if you are comfortable with Starkey, and I wasn't when I first played with him, uh, he is still a beast of a champion. And as you see, I bring him uh, to war with me all the time. Now, there may be a time that I do trade him out for someone else. Uh, if I get a better option, if I see someone on my path that I need to uh, deal with. All right, so now we've got this domino. Do you see the green around Gladiator Hulk? That's because at this point, he has been ranked up to five. He was my 22nd rank five five star. And I ranked him up because I use him all the time in war. And in our last war, uh, there was a time where I could have gone in with Gladiator Hulk, but I wasn't comfortable taking that opponent out, I think it was a Warlock, with a rank 4. So, you know, I like to fight with Gladiator Hulk only when I know I'm going to have Face Me active. Face Me active, even at rank 4, he's just fine. In fact, uh, if you play well enough, even at rank 3, he will be just fine if he has Face Me active. All right, so you can see I'm boosting up because we are taking our wars uh, more seriously than we have. And now we're going to fight this domino. Now, I told you earlier about the distractions that can occur. And I'm going to tell you about a distraction that happened shortly after I started this fight. I looked over and I noticed that I still had the dupe counter up from my crystal opening because I did the crystal opening and then I went ahead and recorded this since I had everything set up still. And I was like, oh no, I've got to turn that off. So the fight has started and I'm moving towards it and I'm trying to find that and I didn't make it. That's why you see I dashed back and boom, got hit. And I'm like, all right, fine. I'm just going to have to try and ignore that, and I'm just going to um, take it out in edit, which, as you see, I did. All right? But that's what happened early on in that fight. And I'm like, you know what? I will not forgive myself if I die to this domino uh, because I was distracted. She's already a very difficult um, opponent. She's on buffet, and that crit failure... Uh, you'll notice if you look over on the left hand side, he does not have face me active all the time. Uh, you will notice when he gets a critical failure, because this domino is awakened, there is a degen component to the crit failure. All right, see there? Crit failure, now I have face me active. Okay? And here I am, I'm in the corner, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't believe this is happening. I'm like, no, we are not doing this today. Not doing this. So you see, I fought my way out of the corner. You see, she's getting regen from the buffet, but I'm just going in. You know, no more backing up into the corner. You know, I was not going to do this. Firing off the special one to put a heal block will prevent her from getting that regen like that uh, for buffet. But remember, I'm running suicides. So I'm used to avoiding my specials but we got her down and i was so happy i made that comeback uh it almost didn't happen and i believe that if he had been ranked four i would not have won this fight especially after i messed up in the beginning uh you see how close it was and i i really believe that had i not ranked him to five that fight would have gone differently all right, so this next fight I didn't do. That was the last fight for this war. And uh, all that's left now is to wait 
and find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, our winning streak has come to an end. Uh, there were a lot of mistakes made. Uh, we just died too many times. Uh, I went and looked at the number of deaths that we had, and we, I think, more than doubled their deaths. Uh, a lot of those didn't count, but a lot of them did. Too many, in fact. Uh, so we still have some growing to do, it looks like. Um, and we can't expect to win every war. So this is the first war we have lost this season. Let's do better next war. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.